Hi, today we'll be learning how to deploy the bot on your website. Go to configure and then click on deployment. Select website and click on settings. You can deploy a bot on the website or you can provide a direct link to the bot. You can restrict the bot to certain domains. Add comma separated values for the domain. You can add the URL of your website here. To deploy the bot, copy the script and paste it into the HTML code of your web page and click on save changes. Your bot will be deployed. Every bot created has a standard theme to it. To customize this theme according to your brand, go to the web display section. You can choose from a list of themes added here. You can change the font style and color of the bot display name by selecting either of the color palette or by manually entering the color code. The chat header can be aligned to the left or to the center of the chatbot header. In the header text, you can give a short description of your bot to the users. You can add your brand's logo or icon by uploading it or by adding a URL of that image. You can customize your chat background with an image, color gradients or a video. You can also set a response message avatar which is reflected here whenever the bot sends a message to the user. You can customize the look and feel of the messages sent by the bot and the users. Along with the buttons, add a help text here to prompt the user to either type a message or ask a question. Feel free to customize the text box here. You can add a launch icon which shows up whenever the user lands on your web page. Select where you want to set up the closing button of your chatbot screen here. Set up a menu to provide quick access to a few options in the user journey. Add a refresh chat button to restart the bot session. The launch screen option displays the launch screen before the user starts a conversation. Set the launch screen title. You can provide the status of available agents and their responsiveness to the users to let them know how soon they can be attended. Put questions relevant to your brand in the query card title and a message to direct the users to the reply section. You can add option buttons such as path, URL and FAQs. In path, you can trigger a specific path. In URL, you can provide a redirecting link to the button. You can also add a question button to the FAQ option on the card. In settings, you can set up the pop-up time of your bot. You can select the chat pop-up display as closed callout, minimize and normal. In a closed callout pop-up, you can add a pop-up message like, How can I help you? 
In minimized option, the chat screen remains minimized on the web page. And in the normal option, the chat screen remains open. You can also send sound notifications of an agent message to the user. Through enable fading a new messages option, the messages and option in the chat bubble can be displayed fading each in a separate line. You can also allow users to edit their previous responses through this option. The message entered here will reflect in the chat when the user clicks on the change response button. Enabling the voice input option allows users to interact with the bot through voice commands. Now, let's take a look on how your bot looks on the web page after deployment. Also, the chat headed position can be set to the right or the left bottom corner of the web page from the deployment section. This is how the bot will look on the web page.